Welcome back, Meg here. Today I'm going to show you how to make some disgustingly delicious gummy worms. To make your jello worms, you're going to need six ounces total of jello. I use lemon here so I could dye it into a few different colors, but if you want to make your worms all one color, feel free just to grab that jello. You are also going to need three packets of plain gelatin. So just put these both in a bowl and mix them up together. Now add three cups of boiling water. Mix this up and let it sit so it can come to room temp. Make sure you don't see any more little sugar granules floating around in there. Once it's come to room temp, you can add in three quarters of a cup of heavy cream and then mix that up again. Now separate your mixture into as many colors as you would like to. I wanted to make three colors, so I separated it into three little bowls. For my first color, I just used red and yellow food coloring to make orange. Second one, I used red and blue to make purple. And then in the last one, I just used some green food coloring. At this point, you can prep your straws. So just get some straws with a bendy neck, pull those out so they're fully extended, and then secure them with a rubber band at the end and put those into a plastic cup or whatever cup you would like to use for this and make sure you put that bendy end down because you want that to be in your worm. Once your straws are prepped and they are in your cup you can take your mixture. I would recommend putting this in a measuring cup just to make it easier to pour and then pour about a quarter of your mix into your straws. Do this slowly. You're definitely going to make a little bit of a mess but if you do it nice and slow you can kind of cut down on that mess a little bit. So put about a quarter of your mix in and then repeat for your other colors and then just put those in the fridge to harden. It's only going to take about 20 to 30 minutes for these to harden enough so that when you pull the bunch of straws you can actually see the extra gelatin coming away from the cup. So once you're at that point you can fill them with your remaining mixture and you can fill it with the same color. You could make multicolor worms if you wanted to whatever you want to do here. Just fill them up and then put those back in the fridge once again. Once they've completely hardened. I gave mine about five hours just to be sure. You can squeeze them out. There's a couple different methods to do this. I tried just doing it with my fingers first but the most successful option for doing this is definitely with a rolling pin and it helps here if you have a kind of a two-person system. One person can just roll them out and the other one can grab them up and slide them right out of the straw for you. Once you have all your worms out of your straws you can put them into bowls or you can dress them up like I did. I just crushed some Oreo cookies that I had in the cupboard and placed them in these coffins that I got from the craft store and dressed them up like that. So you can see these would be a great addition to any Halloween party table. I hope you love the video. These were so much fun to make. Definitely make them at home. Throw them at your kids, throw them at your husband, throw them all over the place and then gobble them up. Definitely use them for your next Halloween party. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see my new videos every Wednesday and Saturday.